This is Chip. He is our pet of the week. He is five months old and is expected to be a small to medium sized dog when he's fully grown. He's going to need some training and has got a lot of energy. If you're interested in meeting this little guy, Chip is available for adoption through the Humane Society of North Texas. Karen, I'm going to one up you on the cute scale there. We got Wild Wednesday. Kristen Garrett is here with the Fort Worth Zoo joining us in studio. And let's let's talk about this guy. Who, who you got with us today? This is Rick. Rick. <laughs> Rick is. He looks like a Rick. He does look like a Rick. Yeah. Uh, he is called a greater. Tenric. And tenrics are a species, small species of animals that are found in Madagascar. Where, I mean, you got him on a log right here. Where, what's he, where does he live? Is he like in the ground? Is he hiding the logs? What's he do? Because he's really not doing anything right now. He's been chilling here for like 20 minutes. Yeah, he's, he's pretty chill. But yeah, no, they're very active at night. So now, now's the time to be sleeping. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be on the ground, digging around, um, looking for tasty insects. I have some here. Um, if you notice, he's got really tiny eyes, so he's got really poor eyesight, but he's got a great sense of smell. Look how small his little eyes yeah. are. Yeah, so, so you see he smelled it. Oh, he'll... get it, Rick. Um, so uh, the th he looks like a hedgehog, but you were telling me something cool before that he's no relation to a hedgehog. No, they're not even related to a hedgehog. They look very much like it. They have the same quills for protection, but they are actually closer to a cousin of an elephant or a hyrax or Isn't an aardvark. Funny? Yeah. That's crazy because he looks exactly like what I would imagine to be a, a hedgehog. Now, he hibernates during the winter. We hear about animals that hi yeah. hibernate. What do they do? He's, he sleeps for months on end because I could go for that. <laughs> well, what he does is a form of hibernation is called torpor um, and it's shorter. So it's anywhere from two to five months um, and it's just to conserve energy. So he slows down during the colder t months uh, to conserve that energy. And once it starts getting hot out, that's when he's up. We want to ask you about the adoption stuff that you guys have going on right now. What people can do? Well, you know, it's summertime, obviously, and we've got some great adoptions going on right now. We have the brand new savannah exhibit. So you can adopt any animal from our savannah. Um, hippos, giraffes, rhinos, meerkat, ostrich. Uh, and it comes with all of this fun stuff. So you get one of the plush animals and your own adoption certificate and photo. And you can even add in a giraffe feeding certificate. Not bad. We like it. Rick, thank you so much. We appreciate it.